An invasive species being called a major threat to Wisconsin soil has been found in Appleton. Yeah, and it's got kind of a weird name. It's the so-called Asian crazy worm, and it can destroy dirt and push out plants and native worms. Fox 11's Eric Peterson has more on what can be done to stop the spread. In her 10 years as a gardener at this Appleton restaurant, Bernie Meyer says she's never seen anything like it. Crazy worms is the best way to describe them. As soon as you try digging them, they jump, they wiggle. It's very difficult to catch them. Um, most insects don't creep me out, but this one does. The Department of Natural Resources says the crazy worm may have arrived in mulch, dirt, or the roots of landscape plants. Meyer brought one of the 30 worms she found here to the Outagamie County UW Extension Office in Grand Chute. Agriculture agent Kevin Jarek says the crazy worms have a destructive demeanor and can push out native worms. They eliminate the existing populations of earthworms we have, which help the soil, and unfortunately crazy worms break down or reduce the quality and structure of the soils that exist. What this means is that we could be looking at reduced crop yields for gardeners, for farmers. The DNR says the first Wisconsin crazy worm was found in Madison last year. Now the agency is looking to form a task force to come up with a plan to stop the worm from spreading further. Part of the solution is you know, getting people from just about every group that would be affected by them coming together and let's come up with some ideas on how to address it. The DNR says plans to get rid of the worms include fire and fertilizers. But Bernie Meyer says she just wants the crazies gone. I am worried about it. It's something that we have to educate the public on it, find out if there's any more. Hopefully we can find some way to eradicate them. In Appleton, Eric Peterson, Fox 11 News. Good. Well, if you think you've seen one of these Asian crazy worms, the Department of Natural Resources wants to hear from you. You can report it by heading to our website, fox11online.com. There you'll find a link in our news link section of our homepage.